Alright guys, how's it going? So it looks like Christmas has came early for the Blender users. The Real Snow add-on is available free to download as of today. I'll put the link in the description down below. And this is made by the same developer as Real Trees, Real Grass, and that's 3dwolf.com. So what we'll do is, we'll take a quick look at the add-on, we'll try and replicate this scene, and in traditional fashion, we'll delete the cube. So the first thing I need is geometry, so I'll press Shift and A, and we'll add in a text object. I'll press Tab to enter edit mode, and we'll just type in something like snow. I'll then come to the object data properties, drop down to geometry, and I'll extrude it out to something like 0 0.08, and I'll do a slight bevel, so the bevel will be something like 0 0.01. Perfect. I'll press Tab to jump back into layout, and what I'm going to do here is I'll go to Object, Convert, and I'll convert the mesh. Now just to save a lot of messing about, I'm actually going to change the object origin, so I'll come to Object, Set Origin, Origin to the center mass. And that really just means it's easier to rotate things. Now Blender's not the best at handling text, so when I look at the wireframe, it's a little bit janky. Before we even look at the add-on, I'm going to add in a quick remesh modifier. I'll untick Remove Disconnected Pieces, I'll put the depth up to something like 8, pretty high to be honest, and I'll change the method to Smooth. I'll then hit Apply and you'll see that the mesh is slightly cleaner, to a certain degree. <laughs> so let's take a look at the add-on. Now I can press N to bring up the properties, real snow, and you'll notice that there's only two options here. So even somebody like me can use it. So we'll change the coverage down to something like 93%. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the height, so I'll make it 0 0.1. Now obviously these variables will change scene to scene. The next thing I'm going to do is hit add snow. And there we go, we have some snow. And it looks pretty damn good if I do say so myself. So the next thing we're going to need is a little ground object. So I'll quickly add in a mesh and I'll add in a plane. Let's quickly just jump into edit mode. I'll press tab and now I'll subdivide the mesh. So now you can come up to edge, subdivide. I've got it set as a D key. And we'll just do something like this. We'll scale it up by pressing S. I'll press 1 to jump to front orthographic, and I'm just going to place this right about here. Now the next thing I want to do is add a little bit of variation to the ground. So I'll quickly jump into sculpting. I'll select the layer brush and I'll press F to scale my brush up. I'll make sure symmetry is off, and I'll just add in a little bit of variation to the topology. Press F to scale it down. Let's do a little bit here. You can always press shift to smooth it off. And there we go, I'm not looking for an award here, although Weta, call me, I just want to change the topology, just so it's not a flat plane. I'll quickly jump into layout and then I'll tab back into edit mode. And what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to use the select circle tool. And I'm just going to select a few polygons around here. That means I can show you the other option that the plugin has. So if I jump back into layout by pressing tab, you can see here, selected faces. So I'll enable that and I'll hit add snow. And you can see what it's done, it's added snow to the selected faces. So you have one option to drop it all over the mesh, or the other option to actually control the selected faces. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the plane. I'm going to drop the coverage down to 83%, let's say. And I'll put the height up ever so slightly. And I'll hit add snow. Now, this time we don't have selected faces, so... So what I believe this is doing is actually creating meta balls, it's then remeshing them and it's placing them on your surface. Now depending on your computer, it could take a couple of seconds. And perfect, we get this excellent snow surface. I'll jump into Eve and let's see what we get. I'll select the text, I'll give it a new material and we'll just make it the kind of blender orange just for demonstration purposes. And I'll quickly add in an environment map so we can capture this. So let me just join these areas. I'll go to World, Add, Search, and I'll add an environment. I'll connect that to the colour. I'll then open up my mesh. Now I need to hide this from you guys at the moment. And I'll just select the HDRI image that I downloaded. And I believe I got it from HDRI Haven. 
So now that the HDR is added, I'll jump back into layout. Let's take a look at the Eve render. Perfect. Unbelievable how quick that is, and it looks great in Eve. But one thing we can do is we can take it up to the next level. Now the developer suggests you change the render engine to Cycles. And it looks great there as well. But one thing you can do is you can change the feature set to Experimental. And that actually uses the micro displacement. Now that gives you a lot more detail and a lot more fidelity to your actual image slash snow. And it looks pretty much real. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter because I've got no mates. Have an excellent Christmas, you know what to do. Peace.